Hello people of the internet, I'm Solarak Dragon, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. We're gonna be going onwards and upwards today to the ninth floor. Well, we're already on the ninth floor, but you guys know what I mean, right? Uh, just a quick check, how is our deck doing here? We can't afford to put more in, actually. Nines, eight, seven, six, five, zeros. Uh, let's pop a fire in here. And we cannot afford to pop an ice in. Uh, we'll keep Jafar in there, I think. Yeah. Alright, let's move on to the next floor, which, what will the magic one be? We only have two options left. Hollow Bastion it is. So, Hollow Bastion seems to be our next world. Given the fact that when we first got to Hollow Bastion... Good lord, this is loud. Um, given the fact that we fir when we first got to Hollow Bastion last time, it tended to have some a lot of new, um, enemies. I imagine that it'll be the same here. Okay. Of course, Hollow Bastion, very fancy looking. Doesn't look too changed just yet. I'm hearing voices, I wonder who it is. I don't know why I gave him a country accent there. Jiminy's hopping along. Shh, I think something's wrong. Beast and Bell. A bell, I don't understand. I came here to rescue you. Beast. I did not ask you to come, and it doesn't matter anyway, I'm not going back with you, so you're wasting your time. Hell, do you know what you're saying? How can you stay here with that witch? I have nothing more to say. Now leave, before she finds you. Uh-oh, Beast is getting the, sho the cold shoulder. Bell, why? Not sure what's going on, but is everything okay? Don't feel bad. There must be a reason she said those things. Keep your sympathy. No one could ever care for a beast like me. And then Beast will go away to pout, it seems. Poor guy. Sure wish there was something we could do for him. Well, let's defeat the Wicked Witch and let him be with his love. So yeah, the story here is different, clearly. Belle's actually awake. Okay. Gonna load, game? <clears throat> there we go. Hollow Bastion. All right. Um. Standard floor layout for the first time it seems. Uh, we got some base shadows on us, so let's start a fight and see if there is anything new. Oh yeah, we got the um hard dude here. I imagine he's probably got some high value attack. Cards. Of course, he doesn't get a chance to demonstrate that. And we got Dark Balls as well as Wizards. Okay. Um. Question is, though, what do I focus on? I mean, the Wizards we know from experience are tough cookies. We don't know if they're immune to all magics like normal. Okay, so they are immune to magics. That's good to see. So the wizards we definitely want yeah. to use our physical cards against. Yeah. The wyverns, however, we don't know. Uh, they didn't really get a chance to attack. A four is not indicative yeah. of their strength. Yeah. On, there we go, just like that. Thunder. Maybe it is. Um, four was always saw that, but it could just be a red herring. Let's do another battle on camera to see if we can't get anything new. Um, no more on this platform. I thought there was yeah. one. Oh, this one, a these actually work like how you expect them to, as platforms. That's cool. Um, let's check out the map layout for this floor first. Holy moly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten with what we're already in. I believe, so 4, 8, 10, 11 with what we're already in. Of course, 1 will be reduced to a Conqueror's Respite, but still, um, that's a lot of rooms. Okay, look around. Uh, Wizard as our start, so... Let's see if we can't find out anything more about the Wizards, other than the fact that they are still immune to my spells. Um... Getting ice on us, and then let's 
see if we can't beat this one. Another ice attack. They yeah, only yeah. seem to be ah. shooting ice. That's not very impressive for wizards. They only know ice magic. Um, well, that's the wizards. Steam bags. Okay, that's not a log like I had thought it was. Don't ask me why I thought it was a log. It just seemed textured and shaped like one. Um, no enemies on this one. We got a single shadow here. Yeah. Go ahead and fight it on camera again. Uh, yeah. I kind of want to see what exactly a defender can fly from an attack here. But I also don't because I'm afraid for my life. Okay, kill the base shadows. Okay, so the defenders still have that immunity to attack us from up front. And they also seem to, at the very least, shoot fire. Okay, so you guys aren't exclusively, um... Ice magic. That, or what magic they utilize, changes based on different factors. Okay, so the Dark Falls are currently putting up all of the actions here, so let's deal with that. And see if we can bait out some hits from these guys. Oh! Okay, that was some power behind them um all right so that is they've got quite a bit of punch to them at least of course, i think we're gonna have to do this all again and it does look like it so if i discover anything new i'll be back to you guys but for now i'm gonna clear out all these and all these heartless all right everybody i'm back this room has been totally cleared out outside of one thing at least i think Oh, shoot. Uh, that thing seems to confuse me. Um, that's good to know. Um, I'm glad I didn't let it hit me beforehand, but yeah. This sucker. Keeps on spitting stuff out. That shoots at and confuses yeah, me. Yeah. Um, I already hit this one by accident fighting an enemy, and it got me a new card. I'll show that to you guys in just a moment here. New card was the Divine Rose. Uh, C plus attack, only C level recovery though, so it's probably not more beneficial to run with that than anything else. Um, a one card room. Let's go ahead and play a Tranquil Darkness room card, I suppose. I did get another key to rewards from this room, by the way, so I'll be sure to show off wherever that leads to you guys as well. Are you kidding me? This is gonna snake around, isn't it? Oh, that's gonna be very annoying, man. Um, still though, it is not much for a room. Three or two so far. Three heartless encounters. Four. Yeah, only four heartless encounters, so I'll finish off these heartless and I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. I haven't quite beaten everything yet, but I did get another level up, so let's boost our CP a little bit more. We're at 975, and we're only here. Let's go back to you guys in a minute. Okay, I'm back because I got the rare Wyvern card. Alright. I think I might also be done here, but first, let's see what Wyvern does. Stops the reload counter from counting reloads. Um... I'm not really sure what kind of benefits that would give us, but it's still appreciated, Wyvern. Still appreciated. Let me finish off this last wave and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. That battle was not hard at all, thankfully. So let's hit all the pipes and stuff, see what kind of rewards they give us. So far, just moogle points, which is not bad, I guess. Oh wow, excuse me. That was a massive burp there. Oh, we get a cloud card here. That's different. But it's a weak, pathetic two cloud card, so that's not worth anything for us. Um, it wants two plus now. We have Almighty Darkness, Looming Darkness, um, White and Black Rooms, Bottomless Darkness, um, Stagnant Space, Strong Initiative, Lasting Days. 
comb bounty. Uh, do we want to do the comb bounty here? You know what? Sure. Let's pop a calm bounty card as our second room, just to see what exactly is there. Come on, game. Okay, oh, this is definitely a unique looking room. Yeah, great cool room, if I do say so. Um, three hits to extinguish the fires, one hit on the pots, and the fires actually do damage to us as well. That's different. Okay, finish this pot, we get some health. Alright, what is our reward? I guess this place isn't entirely linear. A uh, reflect raid. Cloud and two attack cards. Roll the keyplate and make it ricochet around to strike many enemies. That could not be too bad. But yeah, it looks like this is not all as linear as I had thought. So, um, we can go forwards. Or we can go this way. I actually picked a fairly good one for a hub room of Calm Bounty. So let's make this, since this is possibly another hub-esque room. No? Yes. Let's make this one a Moogle shot. Three plus. Shouldn't be too hard. We don't have a three plus, actually. Um... We have a moment's reprieve, which I guess we can do here. I know, I know, I know. I'm using only passive cards. What am I thinking here? But what I'm thinking is I don't want to be too high yeah, level. Yeah. I mean, outside of the boss fights, I definitely don't have any troubles. Only one pathway. Oh, no, we went the completely wrong way. Um... I guess the map betrayed us there. Such sad, I cry every time. Yeah. These gargoyle statues also give me points. Some health. Fire's already been extinguished. Uh, I forget what I was about to say. But let's save you real quick. Um, alright. I know I'm using a lot of just plain old passive cards and... That might not be the most fun thing to watch, but you guys aren't seeing me fight rooms anyways, so... I mean, what's the harm in doing it, right? Okay, uh, I guess we'll continue along this pathway. Four. Um... What do we have for fours? Uh, bottomless... We have lasting days. Let's do a lasting days here. There we go. Alright, lasting days card in here. Let's see what the layout looks to be like. Is there anything new? Anything poo? Anything old? Anything blue? I don't know. Ah, uh, this is a dead end as well. Okay, so this is another hub-esque area, which means this can be our uh, Moogle shop. It can probably take us down one, and then up two. So... This is likely our Conqueror's Respite. Interesting spot for it. Um... Yes. Oh, shoot. Alright, I'm back again real quick because we got the Defender card from one of our enemies this time. Defender. What does Defender do for us? Decreases damage received by physical attacks. That could be very good for some boss fights, and it's only a 32. So it's definitely something to consider. Um, I almost forgot to pop in ice here since we did get the room and does not look like we can pop anything else in so again um i think i, I don't think i've cleared this room out at least have i maybe i have nope i have not so i'll see you guys in a minute and i'm back yet again because this time we managed to pull level up out of somewhere so we'll increase our cp once more which will allow us to pop in this thunder here. Level 6. Um, it's about the same as the rest of them, so it's not bad at least. Tinkerbell. I didn't actually check her. Um, restores a great amount of HP over time. That could actually be a very good card to have in our deck, but <coughs> excuse me, at level 4, she's really not worth it. And yep, there is still more, so again, I'll be back. Alright, I'm um, yeah. back. I've finished off this entire yeah. room here. And, oh no, my card! My card! Come back, my card! Okay, it's a divine rose card. 
Um, I guess since I've already dropped down, I might as well start from the bottom up. And so far, just divine rose. Some health is not too bad, at least. Got the ladder climb up here. And up here. Wait, no, not up there yet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, another divine rose card. This one is a nine. Too bad divine rose sucks compared to um, our current cards. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so those are two individual ones. Interesting. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know what its purpose is. Maybe the stun enemies or something. Yeah. This pipe. Yeah. Moogle points from this one. Can't jump all the way up there, so we gotta go over to the lift. The lift. Oh, lift, come back. Oh, stick the lift. It never stays for me. The lift hates me. Hey, you're back, lifty lift. I knew you didn't hate me. Okay, head on up the lift here. Got another one of the confusion things. Probably a good idea to smack that sucker right away. I'm not gonna fall back down for that. Um, this card is the card we actually need to use. So this is where we need to go to continue the story. Those vents right here can damage me and they cannot be shut off. Heading down here. Um, this is a spring, so good to know. And we got this pipe, which is a standard kingdom key. I've not seen one of those for a while. Alright, that's it for this room, so let's go ahead and um, make that Moogle room where we were supposed to make it, because we failed to make it last time. In fact, how many more rooms are left? Probably not that many. Um, five more rooms left to go here. It's not bad, actually. Alright. That's a three-plus card again. I don't like it, but we'll have to use the zero card here. I mean, zero can be used in any situation, so why not something that we don't have the exact card for? Mm -hmm. Makes sense to me. Alright, and here we of course smash everything first. Yeah, you know, yeah. break the Maleficent's interior decorations on the castle, so she can't get her deposit back. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Empty flame, empty flame, and a pot. Some more help. And it looks like I was right. This right here is likely the Conqueror's Respite. We'll likely end up going up because I believe this is probably our um, treasure room. So let's start off by talking to Moogle here. We get a free pack of cards. Eight, five, four, and a star two. So that's a C plus fairy harp. That's good. Can head wishing star, lady luck, and another wishing star. All right. Um, we'll wait on the trade ins. We'll buy the black lock, black buckled one. Some more fairy harps. Another divine rose. A level nine fairy harp is good. Um, let's go for a variety pack now. We actually did get variety this time. Ooh, a level 9 blizzard. That is awesome. Let's modify our deck around here now. So, Crab Claw at 7. Crab Claw is a C plus star recovery. Definitely beats out the Lady Luck Keyblade. Um, Fairy Heart. We have two 9s and two 9s. So, hop in the level 9s. Ooh, that puts me over, though. Um, but it's still a good one. Level 8 fairy harps as well. Well, we gotta pop them in, at least. We'll worry about the maximizing our deck's potential in a bit. Um, and 6 fairy harps. We can... Well, I mean, Crab Claw is pretty much the same. So, we'll leave Crab Claw in there. Um... The only things we really need to replace now is the two fives, and then everything else is C plus stars. So do we have any fives that are better than C plus A's? C plus stars is six. 
Bucks. Um, C plus C. C plus C. So, no, we do not. Okay, let's knock some things out here. Um, we can take out an ice and a light thing, I suppose. And then we can go ahead and sell to Mr. Moodle Pants here. We don't really need to buy any more attack cards anymore. Probably can focus more on the magic aspect. Maybe the recovery, just so we can see if we can't pull a Mega Elixir. Because I imagine I bet if we do pull one, it'll be pretty good. Okay, um, we'll keep those in for now. Sell this Tinkerbell. Well, I like the fact that we've got it that high level. It's only one. And then everything else is good. We actually don't need a potion. We have high potions. So, buy cards. We'll buy three. See if we can't pull a Mega Elixir. Uh, no. No Mega Elixir. Sad face. Uh, sell them off then. Can we get our money back? Heck no. But, I mean, at least we made some money back. Okay. So, we're gonna head up now. Correct? I determined we were going up. Yes. Alright. And it wants a 1 on us. So, we'll just give it a feeble darkness. I know, I know, I know. People might be saying, Solrak Dragon, why are you giving low darkness concentration cards? Don't you want to get stronger? I do, but I'm not really focused on getting to level 100 on this game like I was um, in Chain or in Base Kingdom Hearts. So it does zoom out. I can't show the criteria because we're not adjacent to it yet. But it does look like there's the enemies, so I'll clear them out and I'll be back. Alright, I'm back again, and the reason being, of course, we leveled up. I apparently can go beyond 1,000 CP. I figured that it would probably lock me out of there, and it probably will eventually. Um, I've cleared most of this room out. In fact, it looks like I've cleared all of it out. So, how about we start hitting everything? Excuse me. And getting all the lovely, lovely loot. Bubbles do nothing to me, which is... Pleasant, I suppose. Clinic is only for some health. And nothing and nothing. Okay, so absolutely positively nothing. How joyous. Okay, next is a two room. Two. We have almighty darkness still. Looming darkness. Um white, black, bottomless. You know what? I think I'm gonna do a bottomless darkness stream again. It's been a while since I've done one of those, and this is just another dead end. Plus, it's right before a treasure room, so what better way to get treasure than to fight through the darkness? So, since there is pretty much nothing to really show here, why, I'll just clear it all out and I'll meet you guys at that door. Alright, everybody, I'm back, and this room has been cleared. So, they want a blue card that equals out to two. Luckily, we got one of those, and then let's give it the key to rewards and see what exactly we have for our reward. Come on, game, load up. Don't leave me hanging here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, out of the darkness and into the light. How pleasant. Health. Yeah. Health again. More health. Is it gonna be more health? What do you know? Health. Uh, I kind of expected this. More health? I'm a psychic here, clearly. Will the last one also be health? I'm gonna say yes! I am a prophet! Alright, let's see exactly what this chest holds for us. Mushu! Um... I honestly was not expecting Mushu here. Mushu breathes fire at the enemy, dealing fire damage. He's a 43 cost at zero. Um, yeah, he is definitely one of the more powerful ones. I, honest to goodness, was not expecting a Mushu. I was more expecting to get a, um, another shot lock or something, or whatever it's called. Not shot lock, but, um, 
slight. That's the word I was looking for. I was expecting to get another slight there, but I mean, I'll take Mushu. It means he'll show up in the item pool at least. Not that we're going to be able to get any more on this floor, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Whoa! Almost forgot that we cannot fall off the edge here, and I was worried for a moment. <laughs> okay. Only one, two more rooms, I think, left? Yeah, two more rooms. We could probably get that done in this episode. Uh, this room, it wants a one card. Let's give it a... Sorceress Waking card, sure. Um, actually, the question is now more... Do I want to continue my cuts, or do I just want to finish this room off on camera, and then we can do the last few rooms next episode? Um, given how small this room yeah. is, finish this room on camera, then I'll end this, and then next episode, we yeah. can finish this all off. We can finish yeah. our Bastion off, and start up the next floor. Yeah. That was easy. Yeah, I found that sometimes they do end up being only one wave. It's just a lot rarer than before. Another kingdom key. But it does much use to me since it's only cell fodder. And even then, it's not worth much at all. Okay. Um, wizards, I found need to prioritize with the build I've got going on here. Having all my attack cards up first means that if I go after the wizards without any attack cards, I'm gonna be in for a bad time. The defenders, however, are a very annoying enemy to face, no matter what wave you're on of these enemies. Um, they're completely immune to frontal attack. Getting around them is harder than getting around a person playing PvP Dark Souls. And yeah, it's just not a very fun time. Oh, I almost didn't realize that all of my um, magic cards were boosted by two, I want to say, actually. That's actually pretty good. Not that we'll use that much, because again, our magic cards are after our attack ones. Another false bounty there. Okay. Um, base shadow and a wizard. Break you first. Nothing in the yeah. pot. Hit the wizard. I was aiming for the shadow there, but okay. Generally, if the wizards are not in the first wave, they will be in the second wave, though, because while they are, I would say, probably the most common of the enemies, um, wyverns are the second, are the least common while the defenders are the second most to come. So in other words, I guess you could say, um, the, the wizards are commons, the wyverns are uncommon, or the defenders are uncommons, and the wyverns are players. Of course, if you get a single wave, then they're generally only the shadows and wyverns. Looks like we got another card here, another shadow card. We've gotten so many of those in that bottomless darkness room, you would not believe. Um, another shadow here and another wizard. Single shadow, single wizard. Sometimes I let them run into me, especially if I'm trying to make sure that I uh, leave room for future encounters, or so I don't accidentally destroy some obstacle that I want to destroy on camera for you guys. So that you guys could possibly see some loot yeah. gets. Fire. All right. Fire. Now comes the easy part. Fire. Given the fact that no other Freeze. waves have spawned, we can safely assume Freeze. that this is the last wave here. Freeze. So no wyverns to deal with. Thunder is another shadow card. A thunder I found has its up, his pl its pluses yeah. and yeah. down points for a card. But it is still very useful for getting around the defender's shield. So I would recommend it as primary magic card in that situation. Um, speaking of our enemies, the further on we get, the more varied the uh, cards our enemies have. Generally, you can rely... Oh. Another key to rewards. Awesome. But generally, you can rely on the... Um, Weaker enemies to only possess weaker cards, but when you get stronger enemies like the wizards and defenders, 
tend to have more varied card strengths. They could have yeah. something as low as a 9, or as, or as low as a 1, and as high as a 9. I'm sorry I got many um, numerical order mixed up there, but it happens. Okay. Uh, level up there, so there will be a point where I would stop pausing my videos that I'm watching and get ready to come back to you guys, because, I mean... Freeze. I've gotten good enough at killing Freeze. these enemies that it is very Thunder. easy to multitask while just clearing things out. And more often than not, I watch stuff on my other la on my laptop here. Oh, we got a slight here. Ours Arcana. Awesome. This might be good. It requires rain of flurry of up to 13 attacks on upon an enemy. Three attack cards. Total value of one to six. Press triangle when it flashes on screen to add an attack. Pressing triangle when it isn't on screen will cancel the slight. So, it's a slight we cannot use because we don't run ones through fours in our deck. Or ones through twos in this case. Yeah, because that's kind of the only way you can um, get it out easily. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be seeing Ars Arcanum here. Sad face, it is one of my favorite um, skills in the base game, and in fact, I don't think that it's not into, but what you gonna do? The creators of the game decided not to put it in, so it wasn't put it in. I wasn't playing the game super seriously at the time to protest, and like say, well, even then, there wouldn't have been a patch for the game because this was before online gaming's. But anyways, I digress. I'm pretty sure that I am at time for this episode, so I'm gonna call it here. I'll get that phone in a minute. So for now, well, next time, we'll finish off Hollow Bastion going into the one remaining room and then all of the challenge rooms. But for now, I've been Sorak Dragon. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave me some feedback in the form of a like or a comment. And if you want to check out some more videos by me, be sure to check out my channel below. And if you like what you see, subscribe. Outside of that, I will see you all in the next video. Have a fantastic day, everybody.